Hi guys, Justin here. Welcome Farm 26 and the, well, it's supposed to be red disc. It's yellow, but it's supposed to be red disc is back. And we can actually uh, throw the gang together. It's going to be all salvage parts, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of one of them deals, you know, uh, do I want to restore it? Yes. How much money can you throw at a disc that sees probably 20, 30 acres a year at the most? Not a lot. So it's going together with salvage parts. Uh, one day we are going to go through it, go through it for, you know, the rest of my life. But uh, right now I just want to get it workable, adjustable, and uh, yeah, everything right on it. And then we can worry about making it nice. All right. I like to know what I've got in there. Alright, so I got our second half shaft here, or our second hand shaft here, and I'm just going to start a nut on it and uh, see what, how well he makes up. If he makes up alright, and yeah, I kind of was curious on that. I didn't know how well that would work or not. Got a little bind to him right out, out the gate. He did have uh, some threads that weren't exactly perfect. Um, let me try something else here before I just condemn them to say, hey, and if I have to, I'll run to the shop and get a big tap, but okay. I mean, there's some pressure on them, but it isn't horrible. But, well, it's getting better. One ding in there. And I think we'll be able to work with him because I don't have a second nut to throw on him. And uh, it's going to be exposed. Hey, valve stem cap. He can go in the toolbox. He's one of them good metal ones. Yeah, and all he had to do was be trained. And uh, kind of got them cleaned up. I'm going to use, I don't know if this come from a Massey or exactly what it come off of. But it's a used bearing. Let's see if this has the grease holes. Yeah, it does. And we're going to put them in the right way. There. Dang, wind get, gets you. You guys got to stop falling on me, though. Oh, this is horrible. I've been without a tripod now for a couple weeks. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, so I guess I do have one bolt I got to clean up with a wire wheel, but... Uh, We'll leave him for last. We'll get the rest settled in. And uh, so far, I think all I'm going to have to replace is three bolts. I couldn't save three. And I know they're not 100%, but I can, I can live with it. And if I can live with it, 
Tell you what, you guys got no choice. No, I just want this together so it, it's workable. Uh, well, when I've got uh, some funds put away where I can actually put all new discs on it and everything else, it would be a whole different story. Actually, I put him in the wrong spot. Short bolt. You kind of want to leave your short bolts out of the rock. So put him to the bottom. I'm looking at things upside down. And when I revisit this, I think I'm going to have to uh, do some welding on these hangers. I mean, they're going to work for what I want today, but... They are not pristine. I think they need about uh, three quarters of an inch of looks like quarter plate welded to them. There's another one. Okay, let's get him real square in there. If you get him in there right, nine out of ten, you can just set the hanger where he's supposed to be and call it good. All right, well, I'm going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to take and wire wheel this one here because he's reu he, we're reusing him. And, uh, yeah, he, he needs to be cleaned if I'm going to reuse him. Well, dang it. You know what? Okay, is that going to stay? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so, my desk videos here are are a little bit out of order that uh, 4010 wedges they're a little bit out of order but what I've been trying to do is uh, at least get the harvest videos within uh, a remote time of now I know some of them are over the course of a few days but uh, the day that it's finished I want that you know with the, I, it, the minute of the last frame being taken to uh up on on youtube i want that i'm trying to get that all in 24 hours um and for the most part it's it's happened fairly close um yeah so these ones are kind of you know i try to get, have something up every other day and these videos are kind of this might be a week out or it might be two days out. It might be, you know, it's whenever I don't have footage from harvest. And uh, we have, we've had a few rain days. Uh, today's one of them. I know it doesn't look so bad right now, but uh, trust me in making this video, I've been rained on twice. Hasn't been big amounts. Otherwise I wouldn't be sitting on the ground. But it has, it's rained twice. And uh, what I really should be doing is swapping corn head onto a gleaner. I think that actually might make more sense. Oh, let's see, I gotta do these other two as well. Don't even pay to get the wrench yet. Forgot my NACs first time around. Well, yeah, I'm gonna anti them and I'm gonna nip them tight with a wrench and uh, I'll bring you back when we're actually sliding the gang together. All right. Well, there you go. I got them bolted tight and now I should check direction. And 
we can slide him on. Next spool on. Then what do we got? One, two, three, four. Four spools. Well, I got three. I suppose I should have put a disc on, huh? And I suppose I should clean a stack. I'll get back with you. So that's as far as we got. Uh, got a stack of 10 used discs here. But that square, yeah, it's, uh, it's an eighth inch shorter or smaller. I got to go find some more discs. Well, this is just kind of how it goes. Uh, kind of got, uh, well, I started this, I got kind of busy. Well, we had, uh, I started this during harvest, thinking, yep, I'll get it done. You know, in between on, on days, you just can't go. Well, you can see how it ended up. Now we got snow, and now I have to get this out of the way because I blow snow right through here. And I want it gone, but I did go and trade out some discs. I got this one uh, cleaned up. There you go. Get my spacer on there. And I think I'm going to put you in time lapse because it's just going to be a matter of me bringing parts in one at a time and sliding them on. And uh, when we get out to here, I'll bring you back to live. Well, there went a few minutes, but uh, yeah, uh, all I really did is wire brush everything and slide everything together. Uh, you do have to watch them spools. Some of them are directional. These ones I don't think are until it comes to your, your bearing, but uh, Oh, see, that one didn't get cleaned on the inside. I don't even really want to use this one, but... Uh it is the 
only disc in this gang that's got a small crack. But there we go. Now I need my end cap. My shaft is a touch long. Now my shaft is a touch long, so I am going to have to go through and put that that bunch of, well, not all of it, I'm gonna have to put some of that garbage back onto it to shim that out. But we're gonna anti-seize it all because, uh, if I, well, I shouldn't say remember it. I know that there's a spot that it's not perfect. Boy, and this stuff is just like, you know, it's cold, but it isn't that cold. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much like, uh, it's not fun putting on. I'll just put it that way. All right, let's see what we got for a mess of stuff. So we got the stack of old desks. We're gonna use them. I mean, why not? I think I'm gonna put this square on, this big square on first. Yeah, and I don't like having that much thread stick out. I uh, just looking for yeah, and I don't have much else here for a quick time being. I might have to go get another uh, inch nut, and that's not a big deal. It's it is just a standard course. There, we got them started. I am going to take them by hand because this whole gang is just kind of sitting there. It's not uh, not really propped up with much, and I got all the discs fairly tight right now. I am only going to be able to go so far. And then I'll hit it with the impact. Now, uh, that's one thing a lot of people don't really understand. How tight these gangs actually have to be. They gotta be fairly tight. So I impact everyone on. And uh, just what I do. Uh, you don't need to go I'm going to hit them with a big impact. You don't need necessar necessarily just keep hammering on that. He's only going to get a few hits. But I got to let an air compressor charge up because I forgot to do that. Well, I'll be honest with you. I got impatient and the air compressor was still going. And so I drew my nut up a little bit. But that's all it is is, is drawing up. But you don't need a lot more than what I'm going to show you. Just uh, keep the damn things from falling on you. Oh, 
Okay, so there it wanted to start stopping. And I'm gonna hit it like twice more and that's gonna be good. Now what you should do is take and run it, bring it back and retorque it because it will loosen. All right, we've only got a few more things to pick up here. And uh, we can lift it up and let's see, actually those discs in the back, they can go through the back. Because we do want a little weight in the back. We are gonna lift it with its own hydraulics. And walk that gang under.
do something about that. There.
once you've got two in, you have won the battle. There's one. And I brought my entities in prematurely. So I don't know if I mentioned it all or not, but uh, I know some guys are watching just for that TW20 and uh, he is in the works and he's in the works pretty soon. It's just uh, with this snow coming here now, I've got to take care of a few things. I think I did say it a little earlier. And this is one of them. Uh, he just needs to get out of the uh, out of the yard it's not that I don't like him or anything like that it's just he's he's in the way for blowing snow so okay well, how about this one well he is just so the bolt won't go. And I might have to uh, do something to lift him up. What can I do easily? I think a ratchet strap's going to do us wonders. So all I'm going to do is go between the frame and the and uh, the center of the disc gang and lift. This isn't anything real wild. It's not even a big ratchet strap. Doesn't have to be. All we gotta do is get it enough to get the bolt in. Once the bolt's in, we're gonna have to uh, slide the gang in a little anyway. Man, it is so close to going. What can I do to get just a little more? There he goes. Victory. Not complete victory, but we can get another nut on. After we give it a little bit of, maybe it'll come loose. Oh, 
How'd this one fare? Oh, he's uh, he's actually looking better. And I think if we pull him tight with the ratchet strap too, he might just be all happy. I kind of wonder if you weren't fighting that the whole time. There we go. Give him a little, it might come loose. Man, we're getting to the point where we might even be able to put the pin in the 4010. Matter of fact, we are there. All right. That gang is in now. Not tight, but in. There. Get rid of our strap. We're just gonna put him just in the shed for now. Take care of him later. And I wonder if I can get a pin in that pretty deep. Take care of this guy and, and this. Man, I'm gonna like this out of the way. the 4010 back them up six inches and uh, we'll be able to put a pin in them You know what I forgot to do? I gotta I gotta raise them up.
camera do this off camera. Basically what I'm going to do is pull these holders out and the center is about where it should be. If I don't, this video is going to be so long that... Well, there you go, and I just thought I'd show you what I did here. So, there's this straight back here that actually goes up, up against the frame. What I did is I pulled the tops over so that it was tight. That way there isn't a bunch of slop. That way you're not pulling on just one of these bearing holders. Everything should be fairly even and snug. But with that, I think we should go try it out. Okay, so what we have here is I dug that little bit up with the triple plow, and there's your first uh, your little bars. Now you can turn around. This ain't so bad. Thanks again. We'll catch you next time.